Guys, let's get the opening bell here on the CNBC Real-Time Exchange. of the big board, it's Amprius, maker of lithium-ion batteries, celebrating its recent listing via SPAC. At the NASDAQ, it is Rumble, an online video sharing platform, also celebrating its recent listing via SPAC. Uh, interesting, Jim, there's, um, we mentioned uh, lithium, lithium ion batteries. Uh, Ford's got a statement out a few moments ago. Uh, Going to have their financial chief manage supply chain uh, on, a, on a global basis, on, a, on an interim basis. And you got uh, Tesla recalling about a million because of some uh, detection problems with the automatic reversal system. A lot going on in cars and supply. Right. Well, I had Kyle Vogel this week, and he is in charge of, of GM's self-driving. And he's talking about, look, we got to do all this stuff in-house, including building our chips. We're going to be like Tesla. I put those words in his mouth, but basically, we're not going to worry about supply chain. We're taking care of ourselves. We can do the software. We can do the hardware. Ford has to get on that game plan. Uh, right now, it, it seems that almost every day there's bad news out of Ford. And even though cars and trucks are selling well, if they're going to do uh, the kinds of numbers they're talking about for, uh, for when it comes uh, to what I would regard as being all EV, which is where they ultimately want to go, well, they got to they got to get control of that supply chain. If you're at the mercy of these different companies, they're not going to give you what you need. I think Kyle Voigt, remember, Kyle Voigt is in charge of, of the things that we see everywhere here in San Francisco, which is self-drive. And GM wants to own the supply chain. Jim Farley wants to own EV, but is not talking about controlling the supply chain. And that's, to me, a very big problem. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.